Okay, in this video, we will be discussing the communication aids and strategies using tools of technology. So again, this is to help us or to help you be an effective communicator. For this video, our learning outcomes are identify communication aids to help achieve an effective communication. So again, I'm going to repeat this again and again. The purpose of this subject is for you to have an effective communication in whatever forms. The next outcome for this video is to use the effective strategies using the tools of technology. Okay, communication aids. What do you mean by communication aids? From the word itself, communication aids, meaning it aids communication. Aids means helps, so it helps communication. So communication aids also referred to as AAC devices. So AAC or augmentative and alternative communication. And it is defined as a huge range of techniques which support or replace spoken communication. So it's a huge range of techniques. You know, there are a lot. It can be digital or books, um, pamphlets, and all that. It's in, it's, it's in uh, movies, animations, anything that support or replace spoken communication. So there are two main types of communication aids. You have the unaided communication and the aided communication. And we will discuss each of the each of them in the next slide. Unaided communication. So this means that it does not use any additional equipment like your phone or laptop slides and all that. It just people typically use body language, gesture, vocalization, or signed language. So nothing except the faculties that you have as a person. No equipment added. Communication aids, aided communication. So this is different from unaided because unaided, there's no additional equipment. This one, it uses equipment. So the equipments can range from low-tech to high-tech methods. So when we say low-tech, an example of that could be the book. Books that you carry around with few pages or pictures or symbols. So that is a communication aid, right? When you say high-tech, we that is the use of devices so your cell phones tablets laptop and also in aided communication there is an alternative hardware options are available to provide access like hardware hardware is something that you can hold like books and yeah the device so that is those are the equipments that can use or help us to communicate. When we say, again, when we, when we communicate, we share our ideas and our knowledge. So this equipment help us distribute those information. Let us define the term multimodal. This is commonly used now with the uh, current educational system. When we say multimodal, it is defined as the strategic use of two or more communication modes to make meaning. So when you say modes, what are the modes? Multi means ma many and modal. So multi, many modes that is used to make meaning. So what are the modes? We have the written, written or linguistic, audio, visual, gestural, spatial. So when we say written or linguistic, Meaning, it concerns spoken and written language through the use of vocab vocabulary, generic structure, and grammar. Audio meaning, audio meaning concerns music, sound effects, noises, ambient noise, and silence, even silence, through use of volume, pitch, and rhythm. So that's audio, that's a mode, one of the modes. Visual meaning... Visual meaning concerns still and moving images. So still those that are pictures uh, that, that, that doesn't move. Moving images, you have you can see that in your uh, movies or GIFs. So through the use of col color, saliency, page layouts, vectors, viewpoints, screen formats, visual symbols, the one that I have been 
uh, showing or visual symbols, shot framing. Um, the previous previous videos we have the we have shot framing videos, subject distance and angle, camera movement, subject movement. So that is visual. Gestural meaning concerns movement of body, hands and eyes, facial expression, demeanors and body language, and use of rhythm, speed, stillness, and angles. Spatial. Spatial meaning concerns environmental spaces and architectural spaces and the use of proximity, proximity or distance, direction, layout, position, and organization of objects in space. So, multimodal is the combination of two or more modes in various combinations. So, that is multimodal. What is multimodal text? A multimodal text can be paper, such as books, comics, posters. So in paper, you can have the uh, written and visual, right? So and, and spatial, the proximity of the pictures, and all that's so mostly written and visual. So examples of the multimodal text that are paper-based or print-based multimodal text includes your comics, picture storybooks, graphic novels and posters, newspapers, and brochures. So if you want to share an information through multimod paper print-based multimodal text, so these are examples that you can choose or you can make. Um, so the multimodal literacy, the developmental of the development of multimodal literacy is strongly associated with the growth of digital communication technologies. Because before, voila, from the ancient times, it was just storytelling. The pass passage of knowledge is through storytelling, and then they started to write it on the caves, and then we used. They carved it in the stones, and then we use papers. We have ink and paper, and then now we have digital medias. So, the multimodal literacy is associated. The development of it is associated with the growth of digital communication technology. So, speaking of the digital, there a multimodal text can also be or can be digital. So, from slide presentations, just like this one that I have. Um, e-books, blogs, e-posters, web pages, and social media through to animation, film, and video games. So, in anana ang passage of knowledge, it's exponential. Before, before it's just books. You cannot have, you cannot learn something unless you read. Now, people can make. Um, people have can can easily disseminate their knowledge through multimodal text or digital multimodal texts. A multimodal text can be live, so a performance or, or an event, because you have the visual there, spatial. There is also um, linguistics, audio. So that's uh, that's also uh, a multimodal text. And then lastly, a multimodal text can be transmedia where the story is told using multi multiple delivery channels through a combination of media platforms. For example, book, comic, magazine, film, web series, and video game mediums all working as part of the same story. An example of this is The Hunger Games. So there's a book of that story and then uh, a sequel, uh, movie sequels, and so film. So there's, I think there's also some video games about it. So that's a transmedia. So we can say that that's the highest form of multimodal text. So the level of digital technology requirements range from very simple options such as slide presentation through complex like film and filmmaking and animation, video games. So it's, it's sophisticated and requires a higher level of technical and digital media skills.